What we know is we're not immune to tragedy. We're not immune to trouble. We're not immune to evil. We all kind of know that. But when it happens so publicly in our own community, it jars us. Barrow County's resilience on full display. Churches and football stadiums became sanctuaries of healing on the first Sunday since the shooting at Appalachie High School. Tonight, the community is again leaning on each other with multiple vigils. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carly Barnett. Tonight, people mourned, prayed, and found new hope at Appalachie High School, where four people were shot and killed just days ago. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with Atlanta News First, Blake Devine, who's at the school now. So, Blake, a huge turnout on this Sunday night. Carly, hundreds filled the football field at Appalachie High School tonight as a vigil was planned. We saw students, teachers and staff, many returning for the first time since what took place on Wednesday. That's when we saw all of the student body running, fleeing out onto the football field, evacuating. That's after 14-year-old Colt Gray allegedly shot and killed two teachers and two students while injuring nine others. There was a very heavy police presence all around the stadium Sunday night as this gathering was all about healing, praying and remembering the four lives lost. We talked to some students with parental permission who shared how they're coping with this tragedy. People are supporting the families that have lost the loved ones or dealt with it injured loved one. Right now, all we need is each other for support. We live in a very cruel and, and unfair world. And you learn to mourn and you learn to be sad, but you mourn with someone that has hope for the future. Mason chose to read one of his books in the back of the classroom. We still don't know when we'll see students and staff at Appalachie High return to campus for school. What we do know is that the Barrow County School District has announced that all other schools will return to campus on Tuesday. Reporting live in Winder, Blake Devine, Atlanta News First. Blake, thank you. And another large crowd gathered half an hour away to honor the coach killed in that shooting.